Hey guys, welcome back to our Youth Tuesday. We hope you guys are having a great week. Um, today we're going to be talking about what is peace. So what is peace? If you ask people what peace means, they'll give you a variety of answers. Peace and quiet, tranquility, freedom from disturbance, lack of oppressive thoughts or feelings, harmonious relationships, time without war, absence of hostility or harm. While those answers aren't bad or wrong, they're usually from a viewpoint that doesn't include God in the equation. The world's peace is different from God's peace. The peace desired and offered by the world does give us peace in a variety of ways. Police officers, firefighters, retirement accounts, and health insurance, to name a few. In addition to those things, having no war, experiencing harmony in our relationships, and not having oppressive thoughts are all great things. These are very helpful and we're blessed by them. Who wouldn't want them? But this kind of peace is temporary and dependent upon circumstances, and they don't provide the kind of peace Jesus is offering. When things are calm, we're at peace. When our circumstances grow dim, we're not at peace. In John 14, 27, Jesus doesn't want our hearts to be troubled because although we concern ourselves with temporal struggles, he's offering a permanent solution, which is his peace. It doesn't matter how intelligent we are, how decorated our resumes are, how many inventions are credited to our names, or how smart, creative, and wise we are. We don't know how to create peace. The creator of peace is the one who created us. He is our Lord, our creator, our mighty God, and our everlasting Father. The creator of peace is the one who created us. He is our Lord, our creator, our mighty God, and our everlasting Father. John 14, 25 through 27 says, These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all the things and bring to you remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace, I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Peace with God. This peace that God gives may be beyond our comprehension, but it's not beyond our grasp. It's readily available to us. If we want to have peace with God, there are no three easy steps to peace with God. There is only one way, Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, God put all the sins of the world on Jesus, past, present, and future. When we accept this gift from God and put our faith in Him, we get the righteousness of Christ. This righteousness, according to Romans 4, 23 to 24, is credited to us who believe in him who raised Jesus from the dead. We all want God's peace, but until we come to a saving relationship with Jesus, receive his gift, and are saved, we'll never have it. It's best stated like this. If we want the peace of God, we must first have peace with God. So what does peace with God do for us during our uncertain times? It grants us hope. Hope that the life we live on earth is just the beginning of our forever life with God. As followers of Jesus, people who've accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior were given life abundant and life eternal. They go hand in hand. Because we have the hope of Jesus and His Holy Spirit guiding us, an abundant life is possible here on earth. When we've taken our final breath in our temporary body on this earth, we are ushered into eternity. This life in our forever home is eternal and abundant, but they are both just a continuation of what has begun on earth. If you know Jesus, if you've made him your Lord and Savior, then you can rest assured that whatever earthly scenarios or circumstances are weighing heavily on you don't have eternal power over you. In light of what awaits us in our true home, this life is just a tiny segment in time. The peace we have with God is what guarantees our hope of what's to come. John 10.10, 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Acts 4.12, and there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Hey guys, we really hope this short devotional helped you realize that God really is our peace. No matter what we're facing, no matter what we're going through, He's always going to be there for us. And we can always rest on that truth that He's honestly everything that we need. So we pray that you guys have a good rest of your week and come back next week.